Well, good Monday morning to you. It is Christmas week. Welcome to our Monday morning, our Christmas edition of Healthy Living South Mississippi. Live healthy, be healthy with uh, Santa's helpers, Dr. Yes. Jim and Janine Fox <laughs> right. uh, from Doctors Nutrition, located on Cowan Road in Gulfport, just south of Pash Road. And of course, as you can tell by the hats, it is Christmas week. Yes. And uh, you know everybody's out there doing some last minute shopping. Uh, and uh, you know, last week we talked about um, you know overeating. Yes. And uh, the uh, the uh, the heartburn, the holiday heartburn. Well, today we're going to talk about something else that kind of goes along, not only with the holidays, but can go along any time of the year, but especially this final week. Everybody's been out there trying to at that last moment, you yeah. know, really hustling and bustling, stressing out. Yes. Over yes. Uh, you know getting those last minute Christmas gifts. Yes. And and. Um, you know, get into the fights. You see so many bad stories on TV of people, <laughs> and, and it's really bad. <laughs> you see these people that are fighting over, you know, stuff. The, uh, stuff. Yeah. And Toys. you're thinking, boy, they're not in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> no, not at all. A, so, lot of, a lot of what people's lost the meaning of Christmas, and I always see Christmas as a happy time. It's supposed to be. And it should be, but they say it's the most stressful time of the year. And I can understand that for so many reasons. I mean, want the shopping part of it. Yeah, you know, used to they had the Black Friday, you know, after Thanksgiving. Now I think we're on what Black Monday. I mean, yeah, they've moved it all the way back to like Monday of the week of they, Thanksgiving. They started. You know? They started, you know, several days early now. Yeah, and I mean, and, and it's it's utterly ridiculous. And they it just, is. And, and then on the other side, the, the the bad part of that, you're stressed because, you know, you you, you have family that's. Scattered, scattered all over the globe, yes. uh, you know, military, you know, we think of them all the time, bless their hearts that are yes. serving overseas yeah. and, you know, our hats off to them and we keep them in our prayers constantly, but uh, they can't be home right. for the holidays or for, for some other reason, your families can't be here mm -hmm. uh, or, or with you for the holidays. So you, you stress out over that. A lot of people stress out because their families are in town. <laughs> I hear more of that. I wasn't going to go there, Jane, <laughs> well, but you know. I hear do. I hear, I, mean, I hear more people say, I'm having so many people at my house, I'm so stressed out. Yeah. So, I mean, but it should be a time where everybody's happy. It doesn't matter. Things don't have to be perfect. This is true. I mean, things don't have to be perfect. And what we were going to talk about today is how stress affects your health. Well, our phone lines are 896-0713 or 800-349-0713. We're talking about holiday stress. Um, if you are dealing with that or any other problems, uh, you're welcome to call in and ask the doctors. You can ask them personally on the phone or you can uh, if you don't want to be on the air you All can right. pass the uh, the your question along to our operator and they will relay it to us so right. uh, yeah so what do you do I mean um, well, well, you know, short of you know hitting the liquor store or <laughs> <laughs> we don't really condone that but I'm uh, just saying you know, you know just just saying um, you know that's the thing about you know the, the problem with our body is we don't under you know our body doesn't know the difference between stress is stress right whether it's that real saber tooth tiger chasing us or it's this goofy we're going to have too many in laws or something at the, at the house for the holidays doesn't know the difference it's all the same kind of, same kind of response and and our body responds not too well to it and and if it's chronic you know lasting more than a, a few minutes or an hour or so then we start having all kinds of side effects. You know, our blood sugar goes up, our blood pressure goes up. Uh, you know, we just have- Actually, start, we, we gain weight. We gain weight. It's another just thing that. because the cortisol mm -hmm. elevates mm -hmm. due to stress, and then that makes you hungry, and you have more for, cravings. For and then you eat more sugar, and you eat more food, and then you tend to gain more weight. So one reason people gain weight over the holidays is the stress added to the extra eating. Well, I remember y'all saying one time that, you know, you, you talk about how that you walk about walk past something and just smell it and you yeah. feel you know I did gain five pounds well and you said your body <laughs> fools you your system yeah. into thinking that it it needs that or whatever right well, well when we when we had we're under stress you know normally like say back you know thousand ten thousand years ago or whatever and it was that saber-toothed tiger chasing us then our body had to have that immediate boost that from adrenaline. the cortisol right adrenaline and cortisol yeah. yeah and what that did was that that you know, releases a lot of the blood sugar, stored sugar that you have, glycogen and so on, because you're getting ready to fight or flight. You know, we don't know whether we're going to run or fight. We've got to do something. And so that happens, and our blood sugar goes way up. Then our body starts producing insulin. Insulin drops it back down. And then next, that's when we start craving the sugars and so on. And, and so that, that chronic response like that, and like I say, you, you can walk by that, that donut or something and smell it. And our body says, oh, okay, we've got this sugar stuff here. And if your cortisol is already high, you know, bingo, more insulin, more insulin, more fat storage. You know, it just goes on. It's a cascade of events. It happens. The biochemistry gets real complex, but it just, none of it's good. It's just a domino effect. It's a domino effect. And another really effect, effect with the stress is um, when the cortisol is high, you don't sleep. 
And then when you don't sleep, you don't produce some of the chemicals you need to for the body too. So I mean, it's a whole event that happen. And to me, this time of the year, people should, they're probably off work some, you should relax. And that's the big thing that we wanted to stress today is right. try to make it a more relaxing time. Try to not get so stressed out. We make it a relaxing time. Yeah, I mean, we you know, we're, remember what it's about. You know, it, it's about a, a very, hopefully, joyful time of the year. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're, you're happy, you're happy to see your family, happy to see friends that you haven't seen in a while or whatever, and maybe exchange gifts with them. And, but it's not only about that. You know, we've got it so commercialized now that, you know, Black Monday instead of Black Friday. So it, it stresses people out just thinking, gosh, i got to keep up. You don't have to keep up. I think no, they have cares? to have the perfect gift. And people yeah. talk about, you know, after the holidays is over, I need a vacation to get over the holidays. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it should, and like you said, it shouldn't be that way. No. It should be a very relaxing, mm -hmm. unstressful time. Exactly. We, we should, you know, this should be a time when you take the time off, you know, relax if you want to do what you want to do. You know, if it's go sit on a creek bank somewhere, do it, you know, with an empty hook and just throw it in the water. You know, I mean, you know, that way a fish don't even bother you. You know, you just do something that's that's fun so for take you. Take a walk in the country. Take a walk in the country. You know, yeah, go down to the beach, walk on the beach, watch the birds, watch those big brown pelicans. Those things are fascinating. Oh, aren't they, though? Yeah. They you really are. spend all day doing that. All right. But yeah. 896-0713-800-349-0713. We're talking about holiday stress. Uh, things that you can do to, um, you know, really minimize it happening. Yes. And, uh, you know, whatever you can do. And, of course, if, if you still have some problems, uh, you know, some things that, uh, that you can do. And as we're talking about, you know, a uh, little exercise, a little walk. Yeah. Exercise. And, and like take, said, take a drive around and look at all the pretty Christmas lights. Yes. Oh, yeah. Jones Park. Yes. There you go. And then Jones if that Park, isn't enough, Biloxi. we mm -hmm. do have things that help with stress. So this week, come by. If you think you can't get through the holidays without stress, we do have a few things. Now, There's things you 5 can HTP take. Is, works real well and it works pretty quick, but you can't take it with certain medications. But when you come in, we'll tell you whether you can take it or not. We'll find and then you something. Something yeah. called cortisol soothe, which just may be short term to lower the cortisol so you mm -hmm. don't have that cortisol raise right. and over the holidays. And what they have in it is adaptogens. It makes you adapt to stress better. And a lot uh, of people, trust me, it works. Yeah, and a yes, lot of people might need does, something does, to because, adapt yeah, to stress does. better. Because I was week. dealing with a lot of that, and uh, you know, and they y'all put me on the five yeah. HTP, or as my wife calls it, the XYZ. <laughs> um, but uh, and she got on it too. But uh, and it does. And a after getting on it for a little while, I remember you know, Teresa at work at uh, your office. She calls me Mr. Happy now. Yeah, yeah. she calls it happy. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Happy because it, well, it does. Well, a lot of people call it their happy pills. And it really is. <laughs> it's it really, it, it really is. So, uh, and we and, even have a formula called Daily Stress Formula. I mean, it's actually called Daily Stress Formula because it has your B vitamins, which is only a very small part of the right. formula. The rest of it are also those adaptogens that's in the cortisol soothe. So it's helps a combination. So it yeah. helps you deal with stress better. All right, 896-0713-800-349-0713. We're talking about uh, holiday stress or stress in general, how to deal with it. And uh, phone lines are open. If you have a call, question for the doctors, we'll be back in just a moment. And welcome back to our Monday morning live edition of Healthy Living South Mississippi. Live healthy, be healthy with Drs. Jim and Janine Fox at Doctors Nutrition. They're located on Cowan Road in Gulfport, just south of Pass Road. What's your hours this week going to be? We are open Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And that's it. That's from, it. From 10 to 5.30. 10 to 5.30, Monday, right. Tuesday, Wednesday. Right. And, a, and we oh, are going to be there Wednesday. We're normally not there on Wednesdays, but no we, we are, are going to be here this Wednesday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, regular hours, and then we're closed Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We'll be back the following Monday. Monday, yes. yes. And then right. the following week, we're going to be off Monday, Tuesday. I mean, we're going to work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, except we're not going to be there on Wednesday that week, mm -hmm. but then closed again Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. For New Year's. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Awesome. The staff always wants extra time off. Uh, oh yeah, they uh, y'all coddle to them too. Yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> now they got a great staff of people. So and, and the great thing about it, if you ever go by Doctors Nutrition, first of all, you don't need an appointment. You can just stop by. Uh, you don't. Um, the, the consultation is absolutely free, right. and they got a great staff there that uh, you know to help you out uh, with any questions. Uh, Brooke does the blood work. Mm -hmm. She's uh, a nurse, right? Tana's mm -hmm. been there with you forever. Oh, yeah, forever. she's been there a long time. Um, you know, since she was a child. Yes, um, <laughs> we, had, we uh, are guilty of child labor. <laughs> and actually her, uh, her, her, uh, let's her, see, dad. her dad, Vic, is there yeah. as well, Teresa. And uh, now you got Dr. Mays there yeah. right, as well. Yeah. So exactly. um, right. uh, got a great staff of people. But uh, you know, you were talking about, you know, things that different things that you can take. and. The, the, the great thing about it is, unlike some of these 
prescription type things mm -hmm. that can really be addictive. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, they're they're not. Uh, no. I mean, I mean, what you, the natural things that y'all have are not. I mean, because you get on some of those uh, those prescription things. Yeah, they can I mean, be real they, bad. They, they, they can, they can yeah. be real no, bad. And then you really have to be careful right. what you take them with. Yes. Right. Now, another thing that we have for short term over the holidays, if somebody is really anxious, um, we have the natural alternative to Xanax, which is Kava. Now, you cannot take it with Xanax. No. Um, but it's one that as long as you're not on Xanax, you can take it. But it's something that's short term. You take it and 30 minutes later it works. And and really? So, and GABA also. So and four to six hours yeah. it's gone, so you know it's it's that's and, a, it and it's not, not having it's not habit long enough to get the in-laws out of the house. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. So, right. so right. if you need something, we do have things. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. I said, we will be there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday if you do. And, and another thing, the great thing about it is that um, the uh, it's all natural, mm -hmm. and you know you can go online and order it online if you know you if can. you have family yep. out of mm -hmm. town, you Although, can call them. It ain't gonna get there by. Well, no, I may I not mean, get there it, by the, Christmas. The mail no. has been very slow in the last couple of weeks. Yeah. We've had um, yeah. everything's delayed getting there because of Christmas. Mm -hmm. And overnight shipping is just not feasible in price. Well, it's something that the uh, the, the postal service is saying. If you want something to get there by Christmas, you got to send it out today. You got to send it first class. It doesn't matter. We it, honestly, we send everything out. First we class send everything still priority doesn't. mail to our we're, to our mailer customers, mm -hmm. and we've had people. It's taken seven to ten days lately to get it, and it's usually two days. So we've had a huge problem with with shipping. Everybody has. So right now you can't get something shipped today and get it by Christmas. So that's, that, that's stressful <laughs> enough. Yeah, I mean that's stressful <laughs> enough right there. That's true. Yeah, you know it's. But um, you know. Um, there, there are so many different uh, people that are going to be, gonna be making your New Year's resolutions, and we'll probably talk something about that's that. That's actually that's what we're week. talking about that's next week. week. Yep, that's next week's ah, show. Great morning. Yeah, yeah so we are going to be doing yeah. that next no, week. No, we did not plan this. I yeah, we did. Great you. night. Another thing we wanted to talk to about today uh -huh. is positive thinking. So we talked about you know stress, but on the other side of that is being positive. If you're positive, it's been shown to lower stress. Mm -hmm. And even a, a study, I think it was from... Um, where was that study done? I think was it was Harvard it study? was Harvard. I think it was Harvard yeah. Medical School. Um, I mean, they've shown how positive thinking can change so many things in your body. Well, along that line, and I'm going to mention this book that I read um, several years. I had a friend of mine that I work with here put me onto. But it's a book called The Secret, hmm, never and heard it has that to one. do, and it's also it has to do with the law of attraction, mm -hmm. which is the positive thinking thing. Right. Yeah. You know, you set your mind, and the more positive, the more in your life is positive. Be happy. In mm -hmm. the things that you do, I know sometimes it can be a little bit hard, but yeah. uh, you know, try, try to be happy. Look for the good in but, but the secret, it, it was a great, great read. Um, you know, was fortunate enough that uh, my wife, when I met her, she could probably teach it. Yeah, and that's good. Uh, and you know, <laughs> you, you, you're talking about uh, manifesting things in your life and and, and happiness and everything. Um, Artaz from Goshe, problems with acid reflux and other things, uh, medication question uh, regarding that. We talked about a lot of that last week. Yeah. Yeah. Has to do with he, acid reflux. Is, is, is he, he on the phone? Line? He's on the phone. Okay, go ahead. Our, how, good morning. Oh, good morning. Morning. How y'all doing? We're doing well. Good. All right. I'm, I'm suffering with a whole lot of ailments. Okay. Acid reflux, high blood pressure, ringing in the ears, needles all over my body. I'm taking about nine to ten prescribe medications a day, most of them twice a day. Okay. Like my Nexiums twice a day, blood pressure pills twice a day, malformin twice a day, one thousand milligrams. Is there I heard about y'all place. Uh, I've been wanting to uh, set up a appointment to see y'all. Uh, yep. how can I do that and do y'all have anything more maybe be simpler for me to take? Oh, I mean, for one, I mean, acid reflux. I mean, you mentioned that when you mm -hmm. called. Um, digestive enzymes does world of good for acid reflux. I mean, it, it helps with digestion and it even will help you digest your other medications better. Um, we always mm -hmm. tell people that if you don't digest, you're not even going to be absorbing the medications properly. So that's the first thing. Now, if you come by, you don't have to make an appointment. You said the question was, how do you make an appointment? Well, we don't have appointments, but you can come by any time while we're there. Now, normally during the regular weeks, we're there Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, but this week we're there Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So just come by anytime between 10 and 5.30 and we'll sit down with you, bring a list of your medications, bring any lab work that you might have, and we'll sit down and go everything through everything with you. Yeah, because it's going to take some and work. And probably to do some all diet that. changes too, I'm sure. Well, there's going to be some, big some of the medications you named. Mm -hmm. Changing the diet also helps acid reflux dramatically. 
and even changing the diet is then gonna help diabetes as well, which it right. sounds like you have if you're taking metformin. So I would say, you know, come by sometime and we'll sit down because it sounds like you have a lot of different problems, so it's too much to do mm. on the air. <laughs> oh yeah. Do you know where they're located? In the ears is killing me. I'm sorry, what'd you say? I said, especially the ringing in the ears. Is okay. Killing. Well, that's that's just one side effect of probably a medication, but yeah, and just be sure and come by. We're on Cowan Road, just south of Pass Road in Gulfport. Um, hmm. Can't miss it. Big building, big yep. sign. Yeah, it's right across the street from the uh, old, the uh, former uh, old Kmart, in the Garden Center. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Look forward to seeing okay. you. Well, All thank right. you for the call. Thank you very much, and have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And uh, of course, this show will be rebroadcast on Christmas Day. And actually, yeah, this yes. will be the uh, the last time it's rebroadcast on on Fridays. Yeah. Yes. So starting next week, we're just going to have the live show on Mondays. On Mondays, right? right. Yeah, just on Mondays. Yeah. So, um, and it, but um, you know, like still, you know, you call in your questions, or if you ever if you uh, ever think of one, you know, during the week, mm -hmm. you know, you can call uh, me, or you can call, or I'm sorry, or email me at jtabor at wlox.com. I'd be sure, uh, certainly happy to. Uh, to uh, pass it along to the doctor. You could also email either of us too. Yeah, or just yeah, yeah. just email us. At, uh, you know, a lot of people like to do that, or call the store with questions. Mm -hmm. Anybody that answers the phone can take your question. We'll be glad to put call it on air, and call, we'll call you back, and we'll have that question on the air. And you can email us. I'm, I'm my email is just jfox at doctorsnutrition.com, and, and mine's yours is Dr. Janine. It's dr. Yeah. J A N I N E at doctorsnutrition.com. Right. So, and just email either one of us. Yeah. Uh, either one of the three of us. Yep. And we'll we'll take your question. We'll promise you it'll get on the air. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ann from Ocean Springs is on the air. Good morning, Ann. Good morning. Good morning. What can we do for you, Ann? I'd like to know uh, what I can do to stop the sugar cravings that I have. I have type two diabetes. And it's really awful. I mean, the sugar is, I'm drawn to it, mm -hmm. and I know it's bad, and uh, it's like an addiction. And, and what can I do to curb that, to stop it? Well, you know, the thing you have to do is you understand it is an addiction, and it truly is. In the brain, it's an addiction. You know, the way it, I mean, it is way too complex to get on in the show here, but just understand there's a lot of biochemistry going on in your brain. Now, uh -huh. what, what you have to do, it's just like the alcoholic. You have to stay away from it. But you have to eat the right kind of foods so your body is nourished while you're staying away from it. And that is going to increase a lot of your fat intake. Good fats, you've got to be good. Uh, your proteins and fats are going to have to be ramped way up. And those carbohydrates have to go way down. And that will kind of curb that yeah. stress. And like it's still I've, going to take several weeks. Like I've weeks. told people before, the first two weeks is the hardest. Oh, but yeah. the more you don't eat sugar, then that stops the whole cycle. And then it might take two weeks of being really hard. But after that, you don't even hardly crave it. Now, we also have a product called GSF, which is glucose support formula. Helps. It does have your chromium. It has your alpha lipoic, your genema sylvester. It is actually for sugar cravings. And then it also helps with blood sugar control and exactly. problems that go along with type 2 diabetes. So that is a product that you can take to help, but nothing just 100% stops it as long as you're still eating it. Um, but I have more people that do go on our low glycemic diet, where if you come by, we'll give you a free copy of it. And they say that after a little bit, they don't even want it anymore. Yeah, you gotta stop that insulin response. Right. Because yeah. insulin drives that blood sugar down and you're gonna crave more of it. And it just, just happens. So we, does, we gotta break that cycle. Does uh, an abundance of protein help? A what now? An abundant, you want to get an adequate amount of protein, and you that does help. You don't want to do too much. But you all, yeah. yeah, you don't want to overdo protein. Just huge amounts aren't going to do it. Mm. But also eating enough fat to keep you satisfied, mm -hmm. which we're talking about good fat. And even, you know. Well, like what is good fat, for an example? Well, Versus like when avocados. He, when, when he eats a salad, you oil. saw how much olive oil he just pours on it. I mean, it's like <laughs> olive oil everywhere. So oh. Olive oil, okay. eating avocado with your salad. Yeah, we're not talking about ranch um, dressing. Making no, sure, no, and talking about, you know, even your good proteins. I mean, chicken, chicken fat has some good, you know, qualities. Good quality. Though. So you want your, you want your protein, but you also want your fats. Walnut oil is another big one I use. I mm -hmm. use walnut oil on a lot of things when I cook it. What, what, what about almonds? Is that good? Almonds, almonds are very, very good. good. All yeah. your nuts are really good I keep good a bag too. of almonds yeah. in my desk. Pretty much so all do, your tree do nuts. Do more yeah. your nuts and your, you know, good fats and, you know, like I said, the good oils and mm -hmm. make sure you eat enough because we do eat a little bit more fat than most people. And it's not, fat is not what's making people fat, it's the sugar. 
and yeah. sugar with fat is real bad. So when you eat the two together, you have the insulin and then you store the fat. So you don't want that either. But the problem well, with too much protein, you know, our body can take protein and those amino acids in it, it can actually make sugar. Yeah. So you have to be careful with, oh. you know, going too high on the protein because it, your body can actually use it against you. Yeah, come by and see us and we'll get more into detail. Right. Okay, one more thing okay. quick. Uh, uh, I don't think a lot of people, when they first find out they have diabetes type 2, mm -hmm. uh, is how confusing what to eat and what not to eat. And I have been baffled since the age of 59 when I was diagnosed. Yep and I'm 66 now. Mm -hmm. Well, it is confusing because a lot of the information out there gives information that we don't think is accurate. Um, I tell people, mm -hmm. go by your blood sugar. Um, if you follow what we tell you and follow our low glycemic diet, you'll see your sugar come down, and that is what's proof on what works. And so I do say come by and get that, and it will tell you which foods to eat and which foods not to eat. So right. it makes it much easier. And anybody out there can come by and get a free copy. Right, right. Thank you very much, and uh, stay tuned. We're going to get to more of your calls in this week's special coming up in just a moment here on our, Friday, our Monday morning live edition of Healthy Living South Mississippi. Live healthy, be healthy. And welcome back to our special holiday edition of Healthy Living South Mississippi. Live healthy, be healthy with Dr. Jim and Janine Fox. Uh, special this week. I know we're running short on time here. Yeah, yes. okay, we got 15% off your entire order. Now you have to have that code, and it's MC2015. Now lab work's excluded, and that'll be this Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And that was this week that we're there. But 15% off anything that you order. So just come in, remember that code. Yep. It's pretty simple. MC, mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, 2015. 2015. Yeah. And it's yep. only through uh, Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. only through right. Wednesday this week because we're not going to be there. We're not going to be there the rest of the week. There you right. go. Uh, re uh, real quick, lady had uh, left a message uh -huh. um, about any products for lupus. Oh, there's a lot of stuff for lupus. You know, that one, and, and there's been some really big research came out on it just in the past year, and that's the olive leaf extract. Huge. I mean, it, that's just kind of blowing people away what was coming out about it. But um, you know, there's tons we'll of other to, stuff you know, too. Colostrum is another yeah. thing. DMG is another thing. Got to work I on mean, that immune system. We actually you know. look at the person. We will look at your lab work, and you know, some people with lupus tend to have a lower white count. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll work on people, you know, individually with lupus, not just set things for everybody. But come by, and we can definitely um, have some things that help that. Okay, right. Cheryl uh, on the phone. A question about high blood pressure. Good morning, Cheryl. Good morning. How morning. you doing? Good. Fine. How are you? Uh, I was wondering about high blood pressure. I have high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. Okay. There are so many things, like we were talking about stress is one of the things that can cause high blood pressure. Genetics can cause high blood pressure. When we have, I mean, there's, are you on medication? Yes, ma'am. Okay, is it controlled? Yeah. Okay, well, that's a well, good, that's a that's good, a good thing. thing. Now, I always tell people, you know, you never want to just stop taking your blood pressure medication. That's one thing you never want to stop. Now, there are some lifestyle changes that a lot of people can make with right. high blood pressure and eventually maybe work with your doctor at decreasing the medication because um, you sound pretty young. Yes, okay, I'm so one. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, that's that's what, yeah, that's pretty young. So I mean, but it, you know, everybody's different, and some people can eventually, you know, get off of their medications with natural things, and a lot of people can't. But you, we always recommend mm -hmm. working with your doctor on that one because of the high blood pressure. Right. But if you come by the store, we can give you some little bit more information on it. Uh, okay. Okay. Then. Okay. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So um, anyway, 896-0713-800-349-0713. Those are our phone lines, but we're about out of time yeah. uh, mm -hmm. this morning. Um, next week, as you mentioned, we're going to talk about New Year's, New Year's resolutions. New Year's resolutions. And we're going to yeah. talk a little bit about weight loss, but since it is the number one New Year's resolution. Big thing that everybody <laughs> wa wants yeah. to do. And, uh, you and know. getting healthy, which is another one of the New Year's resolutions, yeah. which we think yeah. everybody should stick to. Okay. <laughs> but uh, we hope everybody has, uh, has a wonderful holiday, see holiday. Merry Christmas to everyone. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Uh, and for uh, you know, all of you who have family coming in or if you're going out of town, please be sure that you have a uh, safe travel. And uh, don't sit in there and just eat, 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 eat. <laughs> right. <laughs>